Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another Versus Beers with me, Peter, the Master of Hoppets. Today, joined by Brett of Anamices, battling two beers or checking out what vintage is best. How is this fresh versus aged? Because now, Founders, which is the company we're checking out beer from, is doing this beer every year. This is none mm -hmm. other than CBS. It's part of the Barrel Age series. And we got the 17 and 18 vintage. And do you know how we figure out which one is which? Oh, look on the back side. Or look at the, <laughs> or look at the label. Yeah, because yeah. the 18 doesn't have a, a, man a horse rider. Horse, yeah. Or a, what are they called? A, a, a ranger? I, I yeah. can't remember. It's one of the uh, forest rangers, I guess, from uh, Canada. Because CBS is aged in the maple syrup burn barrels. That's the reference. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it was something like the Ranger Core, or I can't remember what is what it was. They didn't want it want to be associated with an alcoholic beverage, so they asked to be removed. <laughs> so it's just a horse now. Oh it's also some God, states in man. America they're not allowed to have the kid on the base, which is the breakfast stout. Yeah. yeah. So it's just a bowl of porridge. Uh, but the base is there, yeah, the breakfast stout, then they do KBS, which is a bourbon barrel aged version. I think it's also stronger. And then CBS, which is maple syrup barrel aged version. Yep. Or a maple syrup, a maple syrup barrel aged version. It's made with chocolate and coffee. And then it's, I think, I'd imagine it's Bliss, which is maple syrup bourbon barrels. But this was like the first maple beer that got hyped. Yeah. And people were really disappointed when it was re-released because they expected the crazy pastry town. Mm. But this was not a crazy pastry town beer. It's just a back super day. balanced, harmonious, uh, maple-ish. Yes. In terms of stamp. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, is there any big difference? Well, the we'll 17 variation has 0.1% more alcohol. Uh, so, it's 11.7 and the 18 is 11.6. Yep. So, not Let's a lot. find out. Yep. Let's check it out. So, we're going to start off, of course, with the oldest, which is the yeah. 17, which, well, both of them pour the same color, right? Yeah, they're they look black, more or less the same. They're viscous looking, a nice, slightly beige tan head, but yeah. Yeah. Let's check out the yeah. other one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, almost like, I'm almost getting a smoky coffee character. Mm. But it's also kind of, yeah, breakfasty. Yeah. Like, I get, really I get that smoky, but. But, but it's really oat like. It's mm. really like oat Almost like salad. smoked oats. <laughs> if that smoked makes sense. Smoked some oats the other day, mate. Yeah, yeah I smoked some oats. Smoked some oats. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Instead of like weed, I just smoke oats. Yeah, because I like to try and stay healthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oats are supposed to be very healthy, so I smoke yeah, them. It's, it's whole grain. Yeah. So I started smoking yeah. because I hate the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's no, got it's a smoky oaty really flavor. Good. Yeah, yeah. Lots of bourbon character. I, Actually, yeah. it's got a sweetness, caramelly kind of sweetness, yeah. which is probably the maple syrup barrel. I, I think I think the bourbon barrel character gets like it. It gets a bit more rounded because mm -hmm. of the maple syrup. It, it's not like maple syrup syrup. Nope. Yeah, it's not like it's maple like, syrup. It's like a nuance, and as you say, it rounds off maybe a sharper barrel mm. character. But the barrel because KBS is a bit sharp. Yeah, but the barrel character is quite nice. Uh, but yeah. it's interesting the coffee character. It's like it's. Very robust yeah. coffee character. And it, it really gets to shine also, I guess, because there's not like just maple flavoring or mm. just a sit on it's like a sit on a maple in there, but it smells nice. Let's try it. Cheers. 17 CBS. I would say KBS. I'd say you can taste it so Ooh, yeah. maple-y. It's not like it's there. It's yeah. definitely but there. That's very good. Especially with Age really well. Yeah. I, I, actually, I, I've had like two or three. I think I've had four in total. But yeah. and this is this is actually my last bottle of the the seventeen vintage. Yeah, cracking right now. I but think man, it's that's very good. Great. A lot of people flack on this beer because it's a this is great barrel aged mm. beer, even though it's not like crazy whatever. I, I, but it, it's just a lot of barrel, but not a lot of barrel. But it's very really good. it's just warming. Yeah, it's. It's very nice. The thing is though, I feel like I'm getting more maple than I remember having it fresh. Yeah, but maybe because the coffee has died down. That might be it. That might be and I'm getting like a 70, 60% chocolate thing. Mm. And maybe a bit of like a granola type flavor. Like this breakfasty I don't know about crunch. granola maybe. I'm, to me it's more like a, just like toasted oats, but I guess you can also put yeah. oats in granola, can't you? Yeah. I've never made granola, so I don't know. But my girlfriend does so <laughs> yeah ah, there you go. reminds me a bit of that when when like she puts like oats and 
some biscuits and stuff like that on the pan, and then she kind of caramelized, to- yeah, caramelized okay. and toasted. It reminds me a bit of this. But it's fun, actually. The last time we did a side by side, it was mine though. That was of two KBS vintages. Yeah, yeah, you and Michael. Yeah. yeah. We still got to try though, but that's really good. Really yeah, nice, very, very harmonious, almost like as it, like I said, like lightly smoky, like a charry, yeah. woody, oaky smoke. The bourbon richness is there without being too overdone. Caramely. And then there's this like yeah, caramelly, mapley flavor, but yeah. it's like a s- nice small nuance grasping onto that like robust chocolate flavor. Yeah, so yeah. it's like it's like dark chocolate. Yeah, it's and nice that it has that robustness of like mm. the chocolate. And I guess it's because they use coconut. Nibs. Ooh, I'm getting nuttiness on the aftertaste now. Yeah. Like a nice kind of nutty aftertaste. But it's it's actually not really that old school when you think no, of it. I think this is almost like what you could call the beginning of a lot of new school beer. It reminds me a bit of like Freeman's. Yeah. You know, Freeman's Imperial Stouts are a bit more like milky vanilla forward, but this isn't far off. No, no, no. no. It's maybe, they maybe have not a bit stick. different barrel character. Yeah, and but this is lighter. The mouthfeel yeah. is full, but it's not like thick. No, it's like a medium plus silky, creamy mouthfeel. It's not mm. like super thick and full. And it's got that kind of velvety texture. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, that's aged really nicely. Mm. Really nicely. That's, that's very yeah, good. Yeah, that's great. So let's try and move on to the fresh vintage here. I actually only got a, one bottle of the fresh vintage. Yeah, time. but we can get it. We can still get it. If so. you want. <laughs> uh, but I got one just for this, so I haven't had it yet. But, I mean, the color is pretty much exactly the yeah. same. Maybe, is the head darker? Maybe ever so slightly, but it's... Yeah, a little bit. It's, it's also a bit hard to tell. Yeah, well, let's see the aroma. Oh, really vibrant coffee, like green coffee. Yeah, beans, yeah. Compared to the other one. Yeah, this is oh, and more the, barrel on this one. I was just about to say it. More barrel character on the aged one, whereas yeah. the one other one has like I this think, really shining green coffee. Yeah, bean. I think the coffee just overshines it a bit, and the coffee also overshadows the maple. Yeah, like it's like coffee, 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 and then bourbon notes, and then also like chocolate and whatnot. But the coffee is really like. Dominant. This but that's also like coffee is a dominant flavor, and I love mm. like the really coffee forward beers. But they're very different yeah. just with a year of difference. Mm. That's pretty interesting. This is definitely like the green coffee bean mm. thing. Uh, again, I've mentioned it quite a lot lately, like pistachio. Kind yeah, of. I can see what you mean. For me, it's also a lot of bell pepper. Yeah. Almost like green yeah. bell pepper. Yeah, like bell pepper is also a good descriptor. Um, yeah. But it's it's nice though. And but maybe a much more maybe a bit fruity also. Mm-hmm. Like almost like a kind of, not dark fruit, but red fruit. Yeah, maybe. yeah. It has like a fruity coffee yeah. thing about it. Yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Mmm. Ooh, the, it's sweeter, isn't it? I don't Ooh, know. It's much more rounded than I expected. Me too. Ooh, it's really coffee chocolate. The co- chocolate is much more prominent. Yeah. The other one tastes more like KBS, actually. Yeah. With just one having yeah, this. Yeah, I think so. But with maple nuance, which is what it is. But this, this is, is like much more, more chocolatey. Much more chocolatey, much more coffee, much more, much more everything, actually. Yeah. And it's more mil- like milky. Like and it's, it's even, soft. And it's more modern than yeah. this is. Like it's more like, oof. also one I have to do another side by side video is when they release Comedians Better Half because I think that one will do very well in this house as well. So I bought an extra bottle of that to do a panel. Yeah, but yeah. Wow. Just think this that, even this reminds me even more of like Freeman's. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I can see that a lot. Yeah. Uh, lacking on the mouthfeel, but similar. Yeah, yeah. Well. I think Freeman's barrel is Imperial Stouts are a bit more full. To this one, but um, I don't understand why people knock this. I think no. this is great and yeah. how accessible we can fucking get this in Denmark now. I yeah. can go down to my local bottle shop and still and buy just it. grab it off like the shelf. Yeah, it's yeah. a shelfie now. Mm. It's crazy, but it's great. It is great, I think. Mm. KBS and I, I think still KBS and CBS, especially well, KBS because that was the first one I had, still have a, quite a special place for me. Similar to like something like Bourbon County. It's not as crazy as something like Bourbon County. No. But it's 
It's really good. But I think this maybe is like a tad too sweet for me. Mm. It's a bit sugary. Yeah, but it's not too sweet for me. I, th I think I, I think I like this one a bit more. But I, I was, you know, I was just smelling. Yeah. Uh, fresh to old, the old oxidation is starting to show a bit. Yeah. It's super light, but there's a hint of raisin. But uh, I talked about that, like almost like a fruity coffee. Yeah. Bean. But smelling it, there's like it's almost like brown sugary dark yeah. fruit, like brown sugar raisin. Wow, they're different. Yeah, that is crazy, and that's yeah. just one year of age. Yeah, these are so much more rounded and balanced, whereas this is like super like singing. This is definitely sweeter. Yeah, it definitely. is definitely. But I, I think. Well, I don't have the. I think I it. think this one is better because you get more I, barrel character and you get a bit of like a toasty I, vibe, I, and you get some I think of the it, sweetness and. It depends a little bit. I want to talk about the sweetness. I think it depends on the maple syrup bourbon barrel, how much maple gets into mm. the beer. And it could also, of course, be the base beer providing more sweetness if it yeah. finished uh, higher in gravity. It can be many things. But I actually don't really know what I prefer. I think it's. I think I like this more because I, I still think I get a bit more of everything. Like the barrel, toasty right, vibes, a bit of like sweet. Mapley, chocolatey. I really love this. I'm also a coffee nut, and I mm. really love it. Has such a vibrant coffee character. I I get that this one is a bit and more this is like more green and fresh coffee, and, whereas yeah. this is more of that like like really roasty coffee flavor. I I think I think that the seventeen is like a ninety seven ninety eight for me. Um, I really like this one, but this yeah, I I love that fudgy chocolatey thing. But it just, to me, it misses a bit more complexity. Mm. So it's like a 95, maybe a 96. For me. But, um, okay, this is actually really hard for me. Yeah. yeah. I just think this is a bit more singular. It, it, I will it, agree with that. Yeah. It's definitely more singular. But yeah. it, the thing is that the reason why it's hard for me is because this has some flavor. Yeah, you like I that really flavor. really fucking enjoy. Yeah. Because they're so bright. Yeah. But... The aged vintage is definitely more complex. Mm -hmm. Sipping on this, I think I will actually agree with you and say I enjoy the aged vintage more because you get more layers of complexity. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is a little bit more of all adjunct. Yeah. Maybe if you I just never thought I'd say this though because I usually prefer adjunct that beer is fresh. Yeah. But in this case, I think I might join you. I've always had the mantra of, oh, drink the coffee, beer is fresh and all that. But yeah. In this case, I might. Yeah, but I, I think somehow this one just it kind of holds up the the coffee and chocolate flavor quite well. But you have to remember when we taste it's it. It's actually been aged really well in my cellar. Yeah, it has. But you have to remember when we tasted like the KBS. Yeah. I actually like the seven uh, sixteen more than the eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I so like the other I, way I just around. generally like these. More when, when the adjuncts are still there, but they fade a bit and yeah. you get more of the barrel. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's what I like. And I think that's why I'm having a hard time right mm. now as well at deciding. Because last time I enjoyed the adjunct a lot more than the the, the, or the, the adjunct brightness of the fresh one yeah. than the other one. But I think the main detractor for me with the fresh one is the sweetness. It's not cloying. But the sweetness is really disrupting, yeah. dis disrupting the other flavors. I think so. Wow, this is like one of the longest, nerdiest reviews nah. we've done in a while. But it's really disrupt disrupting a little bit of the flavor complexity that you get from this one. Because this one really has a lot of stuff going on. Mm. Um, it is so I'm going to stick to my guns. And it's, it, this is debating, by the way, he's one grade. Mm. I'm still going to go 97 on the 17. And we're going 96 on the yeah. That was that was that was, there the was, was the this was the ultimate moment of nitpicking on the master of puppets. And I'm very sorry that it's taken so long, but I hope yeah. you're still enjoying the review. But yeah. yeah. I, I think I'm actually gonna agree with you. Mm. But fuck it's hard to decide. But yeah. It is. But because they because have different qualities. Really but they're so nice qualities. Mm. Both of them. Yeah. But fuck this is I fun. think it's a shame that both of them 
have been knocked a bit and get such a bad rep because they're not maple fudge town pastry yeah. boy beer it's very great elegant barrel aged beers mm -hmm. with subtle undertones of maple and then in a fresh version boatloads of coffee and yeah. boatloads of chocolate and then an aged version similar flavors but rounded and balanced and more intertwined with the rest of the yeah. beer it's just a really good but i guess it's beer. also because you can get it all over the world now so it's not yeah. hype anymore people i'm, are I'm just happy like, i can get this and yeah i'll give it like a four or like a 425 because yeah whatever you know if it said angry chair or what do i know other half like it would probably be like a 475 yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah, you can buy it on yeah. everywhere nowadays exactly so. that's just how it is but hey, real talk but yeah. i i really enjoy cbs i don't think it's overhyped I, uh, it's just a great it's beer. not overhyped at all it's, it's under hyped now i guess uh, yeah it's a great beer it's a great and whereas it's a other and, things and, and are overhyped and this is yes <laughs> and this is a fucking shelfie right now locally, yeah. so i think i'm gonna get another four pack or um, well my first four pack yeah see how it develops to see how it develops because yeah. that's what i did with this uh so but yeah great stuff Wow, this has been a long review. Fuck, we're over 20 minutes. I have some serious editing stuff to do, especially me trying to decide, I guess. Mm. But if you guys try to do a battle of the 17 and 18 CBS vintages, that's what we thought of it. If one of you guys out there, by chance, have an original vintage bottle to try, uh, and yeah, let a, us know how it is. <laughs> and a 17, hook us up, and yeah. we can do a trade. Wouldn't yeah. it be fun to have the original bottle Absolutely. to battle with this? Absolutely, but that must trade hard because we, know. I think we can get the seventeen somehow. I have a friend who has six bottles, mm. so we could. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry for the very long review, but this was really fun to do. <laughs> it was one of the most fun battle beers we've done in a while. But it was fuck. This is epitome of geekery and nitpicking. But if you had any vintages of CBS, or we thought of it. What's your favorite vintage? Let us know. Is it the first? Is it the second? Or is it the third? And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram. Give the video, this video, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're gonna say cheers. And see you guys in the beer video. <laughs>